Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, the hunt for diamonds still continues. I don't know what's going on, but um, we're going to go over everything that you guys need to do to hit diamond and then hopefully get a little bit better matchmaking than the chicken does. So, if you haven't already, guys, appreciate it if you throw in that code chicken in the shop. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, here's where we're at up, down, all around. Um, made it up to getting extremely close to getting the. Um, Getting that boss fight, we got to 67 out of 80 on a win streak, and it all kind of fell apart on us, but, um, yeah. So, what I'm doing, we'll go over the tech first. The base layouts, honestly, the reason I haven't been showing them, they're all over the place, and for whatever reason this season, they change so quickly. Like, something's hot for 10 minutes, and then it's not as good anymore. I've never seen it before in Warships, but it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know... If it's because of the deck layouts or, you know, the, the troop meta. The thing is we have a lot of different troops too, I guess. So that probably plays a big factor. But either way, uh, here's where we're at. Now, we went to uh, 5ER and got the troop damage today. And that's very good. For most people, that's going to be your diamond push um, or your next rank up or whatever you're sitting at currently. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of sitting on my tokens here because I don't want to spend them um, if we don't have to. And I'd rather get rocket launchers maxed out. And yeah, I don't want to use, spend it on scorchers or rocket choppers because, you know, we've got heavy choppers, you know, they're kind of just around the corner. And, you know, I, I'm sure it'll be heavy chopper, bomber, or maybe laser with Kaban by the very end. But that's what I'm thinking of for right now. Um, and yeah, I don't want to spend 500 um, tokens on the shock launcher to max level. Because again, that puts us another chest or two behind uh, potentially getting the rocket launchers maxed out, which uh, hopefully we can do sooner rather than later. So yeah, for right now, we're just gonna go into some attacks. Here's why I've been using three five heavy uh, heavies bombers with spark. It does work really well. Um, it's just a grindy meta at the moment, so it's like you know some hits you're gonna do well on, some hits you're not gonna do well on, and that's just kind of how it shapes up and out to be. Um, matchmaking does take a very long time, but it, it's pretty easy to use. Basically, you, you try to spread them or delay drop them depending on the base. For the most part, at 5ER, everyone's running pretty much the same base. Um, it's kind of like mine where it's like loaded up on the one side. Um, it's either that or the totally spread one. You know, the difference between the two, I think, mainly is just... Um, if you're getting hit more so by laser rangers or if you're getting hit more by bombardiers, you would pick one over the other. So this one's a little bit clustered. Um, you notice that when we look at his stats, we can see what he's got. He doesn't have 100% troop health, so that could be good for us. Um, but on these bases, what I like to do is we like to go with one bow to medics just like that. Drop them all down on this ramp right over here. And then keep them kind of to the right side. Ideally what will happen is you get one boat of bombers that will go over there and that will help a lot but what we don't want to have happen on this base is for them to fully spread out. We want to keep them on one side if we can. Um, so yeah, I'm going to flare them right over here. Don't know how they're going to move there but it will be interesting. Um, so we'll get up on this mortar and what are we looking at? So we want to shock shock launchers, critter launchers and obviously the rocket launchers specifically the ones that have that damage amp on them. Um, but yeah, we don't want too many bombers to go to the left. Just a couple is more than enough. Um, so we're going to start off here. We're going to hit that critter launcher, shock launcher, boom cannon, machine gun. Um, we did end up losing kind of a lot of bombers on that side, but they'll come around and shoot over the top too, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but let's go like this, and then we'll get one more shock in over here. Um, okay. And we're just chilling for right now. Just clearing. Let's get another shock on this side. Got to keep those critter launchers down. If those critter launchers get any shots off and, you know, your bombers get stuck shooting them, the attack's pretty well over at that point because uh, you don't have a lot of time to move and you got to get going really quickly on these ones. So I'm going to shock over here again. I don't like where that boom cannon is. Um, let's see. Let's go critters to get everyone off of us. And this is where the attacks won or lost. Let's see how they spread here. We got some bombers up on the left side, not really helping us out too much. So I think next time when we do this, what we got to do is really focus on keeping everybody together on the same side. Um, okay, let's try to shock there. 
God, we missed. The, oh no, we got the rocket. Um, yeah, because as you can see, doesn't really help when they go on the left and they don't really get much accomplished. So, yeah. Can we get one more critter swarm out here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, we just got it off. That's going to be good. That should be enough to clear it. But I don't know if we're going to get a decent time here. Um, let's see. It's going to be close, actually, either way. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay. And then we'll hit that rocket. The rocket is focused on Spark, which is good. And let's go back, focus more over here. Keep them moving, keep them moving. Opponent has retreated. Let's go. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That'll happen sometimes, but not super re reliable. Um, and at this point, we can just flare everybody up over here because we know we've already won. Um, and we don't want to waste anybody's time. So we're just going to end that attack as quickly as we can. And there we go. Come on, bomber. <laughs> I need you to die. The one time I want my bombers to die, they don't do it. All right. So there we go. Mr. Baka, back, back. So we'll try another one. But yeah, on those bases, bring about a medics. On uh, the other ones, don't bother doing it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so um, the other uh, style of base that maybe we'll see next, uh, hopefully, is one where we can do a little delay drop with the bombers. And it works really, really well. You just got to stay on top of the attack. I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, this guy's in diamond, so we'll get some more stars. This is kind of what I was talking about, but, um, this is going to be a little bit tougher. Um, just because of the layout, but it should be okay. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go one, 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 two, one. And then we're going to go one, two on the middle there, but we're going to wait to do that one. And we're going to delay, delay drop spark, just depending on the boom mines and stuff. Um, okay. So let's hit that. Keep those heavies alive. Spark's doing her stuff over there. Okay, like I said, a lot going on. I don't know where my bombardiers on the left-hand side went. Apparently they, they walked back around and then came back around again. Kind of weird. So we're going to go like this next. We're going to drop over here. I mean, ideally, you would drop on this side as the stuff on this corner is going down. Um, but yeah, we needed more bombers because there was just more stuff down there. So we'll see what we can get kind of cooking going this way. Whoops. Oh, I should have hit that critter launcher. Okay, it's just at a range for the time being, so that's good. Can I hit both of them? Don't know. I don't think so. Let's try going like that. Um, they're actually doing okay over there. Okay, they're at a range now, so we're going to hit the shock launcher. Should just let those heavies die. I mean, there's nothing really um, too crazy going on there. Um, Spark, I need you to do a better job. Is this guy a 6 ER? Is that why this is taking so much longer? Yeah, he's definitely a 6 ER. I didn't even realize. I mean, that's the hit on the 5s. On the 6s, it's tough. 6s are a lot harder than 5s. Um, yeah, we needed a retreat to win because we're not going to beat him on time. It's just simply going to take way too long. Now, on the 6s, what you can do instead, instead of doing that, is just drop them all together, and you'll probably get a better time out of it. Um, yeah. So I hope that helps you guys out for just an idea of, of what to do here. Um, very grindy, very confusing. Um, you know, we, we should have been a diamond, honestly, today. We just had really bad luck, so sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes that'll happen, but, um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bear, bear.